It's still a little bit too cold out at night for this 70 year old girl to get hosed down. I don't want the hose freezing or the outside faucet, but it's plenty warm enough today to give her a sponge bath. Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. You can see today I'm going to spend some time on the four day den. Love this old tractor, great machine. In the opening of the video, you saw me giving the A den a quick sponge bath, got it nice and clean. Now it's going to get a little bit dirty today, but not too bad. What you'll notice in today's video is that I'm trying to keep things from getting dirty. This time of the year in the spring, our driveway starts to sink in a little bit. You get some mud puddles along the way. And even if you just washed your car, you drive in and out of the driveway, it's already dirty. So one of the things you can do to prevent that from happening is kind of loosen up the gravel. It's in the high spots of the driveway, put it in the low spots, and then hopefully it keeps all that mud off your vehicle. This video is going to be a tutorial on how I use the Ford 8N with a regular back blade to kind of pull those gravel pieces that are high down into the low spots of the driveway. Now just like you, I watch other YouTube channels and I know People like Mike Morgan might tell you that a land plane is the best way to level your driveway. That may be true. I don't have a land plane. I'm not sure. What I do know is that I don't have the $1,500 to buy a land plane right now. What I do have and what a lot of people have is an old back blade because most old farm tractors, if they had no other implements, had a back blade. So just like many old farm tractors, this 48N has a back blade, simple back blade with just a pull pin adjustable blade. This one does swivel the whole way around. So you can angle it backwards. Another piece of equipment that I think probably works well for fixing up driveways in the springtime is a box blade, but that's another thing I don't have. So today's video is going to be about if you're like me, you've got a tractor with a regular back blade, can you use it to fix the driveway? Absolutely. People have been doing it for 50 to 100 years. Let me show you how I do it. Now this is going around one of the turns in our driveway. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on video, but it's typical of any turn in a gravel driveway. We've got a high spot here in the center because as this wheel comes around the turn, it's kicking gravel into the center. We've got a low spot here on this outside drive tire area and a high spot outside of that. So the gravel always kicks from, in the video here, right to left as I'm coming in the driveway or going out the driveway. Now what I want to do is take this abundance of gravel that's in the center and out here on the outside edge and scrape it into the low spot so that I don't need to order gravel right away. I do need to get gravel. I get it every single year. It just kind of packs and disappears into nowhere. We use pretty big gravel. This is the number three gravel, so it's big stuff, but we do have the big F-350. We're in and out of here a lot, so it packs down better, I've found, than the small stuff. If I get the 2B gravel, it disappears really quickly. The number three seems to last a lot longer in our driveway. I like to pull from the outside edges in first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle the blade, pull the pin here, swivel my blade, I've got it in the most angled hole and then I'm going to come in the driveway, grab what's on the outside edge out there and pull it in. I like to do the outsides first and then level off the crown last. If you are new to a 48N, a couple things you need to know. 
In order to use the three point lift, you will need to have the PTO running. So you'll need this lever pushed back that engages the PTO every time you let out the clutch. What that enables me to do on the 48N is let out the clutch. As long as the PTO is engaged, I move this lever over here on my right hand side all the way back that'll lift the arms. So when I need to lift the three point hitch, when I'm done scraping, this is what lifts that back blade. Here's a better look at that draft control lever. All the way back is up. You can see if I push it down, my back blade lowers. You can see it going down there. And then when I'm running, as long as the clutch is out and the PTO is on, when I push this all the way back, that will raise up. If you haven't already watched our tutorial on using, starting and running a Ford 8 end tractor, I'll put a link to that up above. It's one of our more popular videos. So I do have my PTO turned on, move my draft control up, and there goes my blade up. I'm going to do this in second gear. As you can see, the blades up, lower three-point arms until my blades down in the gravel. Push the clutch in. The second gear is straight back down. Let the clutch out slowly. Now you can see the whole time you're doing this, this PTO will be spinning, so you need to be careful about that. You don't want anything getting caught in there. You don't want to be down working around that when it's spinning. But that's necessary in order to use the draft control to lift the arms up. Another thing I wanted to point out, there is actually an adjustment over here on the right hand arm. You can crank this crank, which will raise and lower this right hand arm a little bit further. Now I'm keeping it pretty level because I don't want to make a steep edge on the outside of my driveway, I just want to pull that gravel in. And I'm actually already downhill a little bit because my outside tire is down in the ditch. So I'm doing okay just grabbing that, pulling it up.
can see what a great job the back blade and the Ford 8N have done just of pulling that outside edge in, putting those rocks back into the driveway. Almost everybody with a farm tractor had a back blade on their three-point tractor, so they're pretty easy to find. They're widely available. Keep your eyes on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or auctions. It's probably my most fun piece of equipment to run, the Ford 8N, just because there's so much history with it. It does a great job. It's very capable, and in times like these, you know, it just shows how people from 70 years ago were able to use these machines to maintain their land. Just like here on the old homestead, they didn't have a front end loader, they didn't have a bigger tractor, they used that Ford 8 end to bale hay, maintain the land, take care of the ponies, and probably maintain their driveway gravel. So you can already see a vast improvement here just pulling those outside edges in. Again, just a back blade. You don't have to go out and spend big money on a land plane or even a box blade. You can use an old back blade on a 70 year old tractor and clean up your driveway in the springtime. Now I haven't even done the crown yet and that's where the majority of the rocks are right here on the turn. So that'll help level things out. I'll actually be able to pull some of that rock down into the low spot of the driveway where the camera's sitting and help fill that area in also. You can find a used back blade like this for $50 to $150, and they're not much more than that brand new. So if you're looking for something, and you have a gravel driveway, and you'd like to do like me and prevent yourself from having to buy more gravel right away in the spring when it's just squishing down into that softer dirt underneath, back blade, old Ford 8 end tractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and swivel the blade so it's straight, then I'll come down and take the crown off the edges, and if we find we're grabbing too much gravel, digging down in, we can always adjust the top link so that instead of digging in, we're just covering over the top, or we can swivel this blade backwards so that it's just scraping along the top. This back blade was actually the first thing I bought for my old two-end tractor. Before the house was ever here, this was just the property that I was gonna build a house on, and the back blade and the tractor were some of the first pieces of equipment I bought to maintain the land. Now we're actually not digging in quite enough, so I'm going to extend the top link a little bit. And what that'll do is angle the blade a little bit more forward to dig in a little bit more. Major difference here with the before and after. Nice and level driveway. Got rocks pulled up into that low area that was wet, so that should keep our vehicles from getting so dirty every time we're going in and out. If you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel, and we really appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you follow us along. And hopefully this video showed you how you can use just a basic back blade and an old tractor on your driveway. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you again the next time. Look at what a nice job the tractor did. After the sponge bath and dry, I like to use a little bit of the Meguiar's quick mist and wipe detailer, just on a nice clean rag. I just do a couple little squirts, wipe it in, flip my rag, kind of dry it off. And that just helps protect the paint a little bit better.